So I mentioned in Dr. Lee's interview, because the concern with AAC by Dr. Z that is put out there is we don't know what's going to happen to the disk space and the release. So here's a case uh, where uh, this is a 13 year old boy, very severe uh, curve, obviously not a candidate for VBT whatsoever. And if you actually did metal rod surgery, uh, you would go to the front first and you would destroy these disc spaces. You would release them and destroy them. You would put bone in each of the disc spaces. And then you would go to the back and do your metal rod. So this case was chosen on purpose to show that your only alternative is a large metal rod. Uh, and that metal rod would go from about here all the way down to here. So you're eliminating full motion of the spine. Um, versus the results of the cord surgery, and this was taken 10 months after the ASC. We also got the MRI from before the surgery and uh, MRI after uh, about 10 months. And very clearly, you can see this MRI before shows a nice signal in the disc base at L3-4. This is a level that I released. And again, it's not a thoracic level I'm showing. It's a lumbar level that I'm showing. Uh, and uh, we see restoration of the signal. We see actually even restoration of the internuclear disc cleft, which is a normal finding. So this level has been released uh, by the ASC, by doctor's ABC technique. And we have um, evidence that the hit disc rehealed, number one. And then even 10 months later, you see normal signal. 